we're going to discuss the heating and ventilation and air conditioning mechanical systems or HVAC um, you know a lot of discussion on how we chose the system we did which was a geothermal system um, that was more expensive but how it balances out um, and, and why we kind of chose it so this chart here uh, gives what was presented to the building committee uh, by the mechanical engineers so the mechanical engineers for the architects came in did a deep dive presentation into each system that was offered which is a baseline system a normal uh, a normal commercial HVAC system a more op and then with two options option this one is a more efficient uh, system that runs off of natural gas and the third is a much more efficient system that is geothermal and just for note the geothermal system offered here is a closed loop system which is very much different than the senior center system that that currently has it's more efficient and more reliable so after presentation and and really getting an idea of what are the benefits the negatives balancing cost balancing climate initiatives how could what system would be best for this building so the first option obviously was the cheaper option but not very efficient it, this chart includes the mass saves initiative rebates and federal tax credits through the build back better um, act there's a little bit money left back but um, really not much you know good system but could we do better and so this is a comparative line so it wouldn't be anything here with option one so this is your you know more efficient system than the base option it runs off a of natural gas so it was about two million two and a half million more expensive than the base system you got a little bit money back in mass saves nothing back in the federal tax credit um, you can read this as you go but it talks about the annual maintenance costs, 20 year equipment replacement, 30 year, 40 year. So this is the ongoing operational costs. Um, the electrical costs, how much it would be to run it. Um, so you can see how all these numbers play out and they go into this life cycle number. So this system life cycle costs would savings would be a little over a million dollars versus the base system. And then as for discount paybacks, which is the mass saves, it'd be instant. You know, you get that right back. Some of them are scheduled that you get a certain percentage over the life of the system. Here you get the money directly up front. Then the third option, which is the geothermal, which is the one that the committee chose. Yes, on paper, it shows that it's four million more than the base system. However, you get a significant amount of money through both rebate programs. So your net investment is right around 2.2. Here we have energy costs are comparable, electrical costs comparable. We do save some money in areas of equipment replacement and maintenance. Um, so a, a really good system uh, in the long term, uh, a little bit costly up front, but in the long term, a lot of good savings. Again, over the base system, the life would be just a little over uh, eight, 1.8 million, which is again more than option two. And then we have an instant rebate. So that money, and here's where it's important to understand, is the committee chose a $4 million system over a $2 million system. However, through the rebates that they receive, the geothermal system is actually about $200,000 cheaper once we get the rebates and it'll save more money on the long run. So that was the decision behind that. In the next one here, it just talks about energy savings. I mean, we're, we're trying to be very climate sensitive to the future of this building and kind of set a tone throughout um, Northboro for municipal projects, but also other private projects. So this is the LEEDS 4.0. It's the Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. So basically it's how they determine the efficiency of a building. It includes more things than just the HVAC system. It includes insulation, you know, the, the interior lights, how they're time censored, LEDs, etc. 
Uh, so a lot of stuff. So the baseline lead um, talks about in this line here. Um, so it's got that, and obviously comparisons, this is the important part about it is, you know, this is the base, so there won't be a comparison. However, the three systems that we had, so the base system that was in the, um, the least efficient, the first option, which was uh, a little bit more efficient, uh, running off natural gas, and then the third is the geothermal system, obviously most, most efficient. So you talk about the, electri the electricity used, the geothermal actually uses less electricity than any of the other systems. Annual electric costs, cheapest with the geothermal. Combined utility costs are cheapest. Annual utility cost per square foot is the cheapest. Um, combined savings is the most. So when you talk about based on the leads, percentage of savings, so energy cost savings, the geothermal saves 47.9% over the base. That's pretty good and gives up 17 points. So the most efficient system, which is good for the climate, but also good for saving money over the long term for the taxpayers on the reoccurring operational cost. So that's just kind of a really high end of how we got to the system that we got to. However, you know, if you have specific questions, you can go to the fire station website um, and research more information. There's a frequently asked questions section that goes more into the systems, but also you can uh, submit questions through email if you have any specific questions. Mm -hmm.